Aloha, Marina here with Mahalo Skincare. I am beyond elated about Mahalo Skincare celebrating its 11th year. And this would not be possible without you. All of this is for you, because of you, with deep gratitude for you. To commemorate this truly is a milestone and for any small business and especially for a beauty brand, a small beauty brand in today's market. I would like to spend some time with you right now walking you through some of our products. I'm going to pause and give a little bit more highlight information on more particular products and then mention as much from the line as I can. I am being very mindful in honoring your time. I know how important and precious our time is, especially nowadays, how fast the time goes. So I will be conscious of that and I will do my best to not to have my, my passion and excitement of talking about beauty plants and soul and rituals not to make the best of but if you are on youtube hello thank you please subscribe follow our new channel or our old channel that we're now infusing with more love and um, connection with you so 11th year of mahalo skincare the brand has launched with the og mahalo balm this formula goes back to my grandmother she growing up in a family and you might have heard me say this story many times before i even mentioned this in my book in the podcast and, and other videos i've done i grew up in a family where for ailments of headache or any kind of cuts or bruises i was not given tylenol or whatever the variation was there i was given comfrey i was given turmeric i was given infusions of chamomile and other tinctures that was always all around my house so mahalo balm is first and foremost an ode to my grandmother. May she be in bliss in heaven. The Mahalo Balm, oh, look at this gorgeousness. Uh, the color comes from sea buckthorn, oh, to my grandmother. It has turmeric, it has rich uh, oils of avocado, macadamia, kukui. This balm is an incredible for more mature skins or to use in the winter times when you're desiring more moisture. Also, Mahalo Balm is an incredible moisturizer for skin for men that require more that serious moisture. This is also a great product to have in your a beauty cabinet or a medicine cabinet for any kind of scrapes or bruises. I mean, this is what I was raised on whenever I had I have been bruised or scraped my knees uh, biking. This is what my grandmother put on my skin. So Mahalo Balm is what launched Mahalo Skincare in 2013. Oh my gosh, I cannot. It took, seriously, see, it took me a minute to really think through how much has gone through in those days. But I am going to jump a little bit to a different timeline to today. And if you are looking to refresh your ritual or looking to see if you're new to the brand, welcome. I'm so honored to, uh, to have you here with me. Let me walk you through our best sellers, our ge the gems, although I do think all products are true gems in our line. Our line is highly, highly curated. Curated. I don't launch just product for the sake of launching a product, even though that is the way to um, to win the market because the newness gives us that dopamine hit for people. So when you see brands constantly pumping out products, that's, that's to make money and that's also to stay afloat. But for Mahalo skincare, the ethos uh, and what really, why I do what I do, it is about creating a product that can stand the test of time. Well, Mahalo Balm is one of them. Another one is the Rare Indigo Balm. This, many people know of Mahalo 
through Rare Indigo Balm. Also, of course, other people call us the, the brand in bamboo packaging. There's many ways that we are recognized, but the Purple Balm, we are the OG, the original Purple Balm. The color from uh, in this product comes from combination of indigo, of yarrow, of gromwell, and other botanical infusions. This is a gem. This lot, Rare Indigo launched in 2015 and it has loved on thousands upon thousands of tens of thousands now that I think of oh tens and tens of thousands of people oh my gosh oh my gosh oh that's actually incredible to think that oh wow tens of thousands of skins have been loved by this potion that I first dreamed up I started dreaming this balm in 2014 to draft and and also even download the formula for this product and that's why almost 10 years later this is a very strong seller for us I have thousands of reviews of people coming back to me and saying how this product not just transformed their skin but also has helped them maintain the longevity and health of their skin uh, I'm going to pause and do a little storytelling here. I've had people write to me and say, hey, I have been using your products for many years. Thank you. And then they say, I've stopped seeing a difference um, in the product performing. Love that question so much because that gives me an opportunity to dive deeper and say, well, tell me more. What do you mean that you stop seeing the difference? And then I say, well, I no longer like I don't have breakouts and my skin is just smooth and it's just all great. So there is like I don't really see it working. And I would say and this gives me an opportunity to to pause and and invite them to consider is skin not being troubled a good sign? <laughs> So the products are actually helping them maintain the glow, maintain the health, maintain uh, moisture, maintain vibrancy, maintain inflammation, meaning reduce inflammation. So it's almost like, in a way, they're, skip they're keeping your skin boring, like that incredible marriage that is boring. And what I mean by that? <laughs> is that it doesn't have ups and downs of inflammation, acne, oh, dryness, or big oily moments. It's just, my skin is great. Think about that. I invite you to think about that. So I have definitely attributed a lot of the boringness of health and longevity of my skin to Rare Indigo. So I will speak about more about this in a minute, but Rare Indigo is one is an absolute staple then the hawaiian hydration if you are considering bringing a few uh products to your ritual from the mahalo line hawaiian hydration is an absolute must have this is an oil free serum the name of this is an advanced cellular repair concentrate it comes in the pump um, if you have it in your arsenal right now reminder to use it and reminder to give it a shake every time before applying into your skin this is not just a penetration enhancer for your oils that follow this is in itself a um, a nutrient pharmacy if there if there is one botanical pharmacy for your skin the the foundation of this product is colloidal gold collo uh, copper peptides there is an array of botanicals extracts from hibiscus tamarind goji berry green tea all of them delivering support to the cellular and the skin the, the structure of your skin the hawaiian hydration is also what's helping me and my skin is is quite finicky <laughs> for her, for my skin to be boring is a true gift <laughs> from because i know how much it likes to freak out as the name says it gives you the boost of hydration to your skin but in an intelligent way 
that does not just call in the water it actually helps your cells retain it create that plump appearance <laughs> it helps support the skin in processing and um, recovering from the UV damage and Hawaiian hydration in simple forms creates the foundation for healthy functioning skin cells with you can I mean of course you don't have to have any products I mean you can moisturize your skin with coconut oil and have a health healthy and blissful life absolutely but what these products do they give you that elevated level of support in where your skin really achieves a maximum of ability of turnover of healthy of healthy vibrancy and helping your skin fight and handle environmental stressors environmental impact that is happening in your skin so hawaiian hydration is a definite staple for anytime you're considering what products to buy or what products to introduce from mahala skincare also i will say i don't in my ritual in my skin ritual i have other products from other brands that i incorporate and of course you do too so hawaiian hydration works really well with other products it works really well with creams it works really well with other face oils night times it works really well with retinol it's not going to create uh, any cataclysmic skin explosions in your cells <laughs> um, it will work really well with other toners the only element that I would be cautious with is if you're using it with highly acidic toners but that's if you are using those highly acidic toners then you know what you're doing so i'm not going to pause and talk about that so hawaiian hydration is together with rare indigo are must-haves another product i would love to highlight here is the queen nani this gem was introduced to our line in 2022 we're now bringing back all more to the present moment called the jasmine Ra radiance resurfacing mask so currently mahala skincare we have three masks we have the queen nani which is the latest edition then we have the bean mask which is antioxidant based on coffee and um, cacao and vanilla beans and then we have the gem that everyone knows and loves of course if you know mahalo the petal mask which is hydrating honey based mask each mask is actually quite different they all serve their purpose and they fit in into your ritual in an intelligent and purposeful way so queen nani is the smallest jar that we have it's actually only 15 milliliter but do not be deterred by the size of this jar this little gem packs a potent punch indeed i call this your two minute facial in a jar for a reason you first of all you need the thinnest thinnest layer of this product on your skin and this is what it looks like oh, i hope you can see it well you need the thinnest layer on your skin you i definitely recommend you applying it with a brush so you would scoop out a little bit put it on um you can use paper towel or you can use a, uh, a little a teacup. I actually have, I use my teacups for that or a special bowl. So scoop out a little bit, put it in, on the plate and then apply on your face. And I do recommend using a uh, brush because it just creates a more even and luxurious experience. And I mean, skincare like this is to be indulged. Mahalo skincare is to be celebrated as a ritual which is also a reason why i am really taking this opportunity to dress up i have perfume on makeup on beautiful dress to really come and celebrate this moment with you so queen nani is a resurfacing mask it is based on a combination of incredible tropical um, acids from fruits. So you have papaya and uh, pineapple and mango, basically an array of acids from uh, their salicylic acid, of course, lactic acid, that if used on their own, 
or used, uh, actually they could not be used to the degree that they're used here in a leave-on product. But in a product like this that is rinsable, you really, they really come to shine and you, your skin really gets to harness and enjoy the incredible benefits of those botanical tropical acids. You will need, and I feel that it's important, I'm going to go ahead and actually show you, you will need less, about this much for one treatment. This will cover, um, I'll put it back because it's clean. This will cover your entire face. I do not recommend you stretch it down to your neck. This is the only mask that I say, keep it to the face because the skin on our neck is actually a lot more, is a lot thinner. And the formula here is specifically designed to handle the skin on your face. Of course, you're going to avoid around the eye area and you're going to avoid the gentle area around your lip. But then you're going to cover your entire face with Queen Nani and leave it for, well, as I said, two minute facial in a jar, but you can leave it for up to five minutes and then rinse it off. What, the, what this does, what the acids do, they help you uh, clean and take off the top layer of the skin. So that's where you have any sebum that has been pushed out, all of the dead layers of skin that have created this little, almost like shingles, right? That they sit on top of the skin. What this helps is basically just flush it out and remove from your skin. When you rinse Queen Nani, your face feels like a baby's bum. <laughs> Ah, you knew I'm going to say something funny because that's just me. I, I like to live life with a humorous and joyful way. So Queen Nani is an incredible product to have as part of your ritual. You can, yes, yes, yes. I hear you asking question. Can you use this in the summer if you are on the sun a lot? Yes, you can. You just will not want to go on the sun right after it. And if you do, you're an intelligent consumer. You are going to use protection and proper care for your skin. But best way use this say sunday night you will do queen nani after an adventurous week in the sun or whatever you have been your face you have faced that week you will queen nani on your face rinse off follow with hydration hawaiian hydration rare indigo or hawaiian nights for that really potent vitamin a boosting your skin turn over and you wake up next morning with a very fresh, strong, resilient, and glowing skin. Another thing to note, again, back to its size, you saw how little of Queen Nani I have used. This product I recommend you use once a week, maybe twice a week. With that tiny amount, used once or twice a week, this jar will, will last you, and this has been tested, you know, I test product for years before they launch. This will last you about the same time as this jar of the petal. And that is because, well, first of all, quick detour to the petal. Petal, petal is a mask to be really indulged. Petal is the mask that you will apply on your face, on your neck, all the way to your decollete and just really indulge in the aroma of honey, of hydration, of the roses, of petals of rose, of jasmine and hyaluronic acid and all of the amazingness of the raw enzymes in this mask. This mask also you will need, if you're using these spoons, 10 of them, this is a healthy dollop of the petal, and I definitely encourage you to indulge. That's why it's a hundred milliliter. But Queen Nani, you need very little bit. So in terms of usage, it will take you the same time to finish this jar as it does the petal mask. As I said, every single step of Mahalo Skin Care is intentional. I don't create things just for the sake of them being out there in the world. The sizes have been intentionally thought through of how you will use them, how they will best benefit and support your skin. So this little gem is a gem. So Queen Nani, if you were to have, let's say, let's say if you were to have three or four products from Mahalo Skincare right now, if you're considering, hmm, what should I indulge to? 
I would invite you to bring Queen Nani as part of your ritual because this will give you that continuous uh, support in boosting cellular turnover of your skin. Just clean, cleansing the top layer, really rinsing it away. And I mean, who doesn't like feeling their face when it feels like a baby's bum? <laughs> ah, Queen Nani. Then Hawaiian hydration, an absolute... So if, if, if I were to be asked what one product I would bring to a deserted island, my one product would be Queen Nani and Hawaiian hydration. I mean, who can have one product? That's crazy. Queen Nani, Hawaiian hydration, rare indigo. Again, what am I going to do there on, on deserted island with just like one product? <laughs> Here we go. Queen Nani, rare indigo, Hawaiian hydration. And now let's pick, let's pick our fourth one. Which one, which one we should be? So let me talk about two and then we'll decide. I'll let you decide which would be the fourth product that you would bring from Mahalo Skincare if you were to have four. I will definitely have to say, I mean, unveil cleanser. This together with the Rare Indigo unveil cleanser is something that we are so known for this green goddess. We were one of the first oil cleansers on the market. This launched in 2016. Ooh, that was a, ooh, that was a hard year in my life. Yeah. I remember calling this when life gives you lemons, I was being grateful, turn it into a cleanser. This is what happened. This, I'm very proud of this creation and lemons is relevant because there is a Romo in lem of lemon in unveil it's very uplifting it's because it's a cleanser it's something you use in the morning at night it really lifts you up your spirit the aroma here is fragonia which quick detour is an incredible essential oil from australia it has been studied that it helps to balance the circadian rhythm in our body through the through the aromatics which is another which is reason again so many steps in what I create so powerfully intentional. Um, I really should be doing more of these and please encourage me if you enjoy them, let me know to tell you about the ingredients and the synergy because there is a lot of mindfulness that goes into here. So Fragonia helps to balance circadian rhythm in the body. What it means by balancing, it helps um, there is studies are done that our clock, our biological clock, doesn't actually operate on the 24 hour. I believe it's 23. Oh, I forget now. Uh, I'll post in here 23 point something. So helping our brain and hormones balance and stay in the rhythm with that circadian, what circadian means night, day, when we fall asleep, when we're tired. So we're not falling asleep at two o'clock in the afternoon and then wake up bright eyed at three in the morning. What helps us stay balanced is having a healthy circadian rhythm. And that's why Fragonia is an ingredient here. And it has that very undertone kind of herbaceous note. Another a uh, scent here is of course as i mentioned lemon which is helps to lift and uplift your mood it has a little bit of peppercorn which is a little bit of that sassiness to to you give you that pep in the step as you cleanse and the color comes from matcha antioxidant uh, green tea that we powder specifically for this cleanser. If you ever seen me on Instagram when I do behind the scenes video and when I blend unveil, it's such that vibrant green color. It's because the matcha we use, I actually get full dried uh, fresh leaves and then we powder them ourselves. And that's what allows for matcha to retain this bright green color. Oh, I am just digressing so much. I hope you're still with me um, enjoying this journey. So Unveil Cleanser, Life Gave Me Lemons. I created this gem. I remember next year Vogue named it top five cleansers. Oh, I almost fainted. I was so excited and honored. But bigger honor actually is to have so many of you love this gem have this gem as your staple in your skincare routine. 
quickly what it does in case you've never had you've never experienced unveil or if you have experienced and you would like a little tip so a little goes a long way as with everything this is how much you use voila on your skin you will apply this dry on makeup it works so well when you've had all day in the sun or when you've had sunscreen and you're really there's a lot of sebum and you've, you you're just really ready to get rid of all of that on your face unveil is your friend it is very sticky it has amazing synergy of butters and oils specifically to really stick and and pull everything out of your pores you're going to massage it on your face ah, I just really want to even pause this pause this video and go in the bathroom and cleanse do you see how smooth and gliding it is it is on your skin this would be a wonderful opportunity to touch 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 your face touch um, touch indulge and touch your face did I mention touch your face massaging your skin boosting the circulation really awakening your skin you can also bring depending on how much grime you have on your skin if it's not too much this is a good fluid to use for gua sha and if you're not familiar with gua sha I'd love to direct you to treatment by Lan Shin fabulous Sandra she is a pro in traditional Chinese medicine she talks a lot about gua sha massage and she loves using unveil cleanser exactly for for the reasons of fluid so at the end of the day you have massaged your face you loved on yourself you looked on your at, at yourself in the mirror and you says oh, I did it I had a fantastic day you can give yourself some forgiveness from moments maybe where you have not been as graceful ha huh? because you're about to unveil your beauty you're about to unveil your true essence I mean you knew I'm going to be poetic you've met me you've seen me online if you, if you heard my podcast I give you poems at the end of each podcast so you're going to unveil your beauty room bathing in water and it emulsifies it turns into milk and that's the magical thing about rinsable oil cleansers I honestly find the best way to cleanse your skin is oil ba oil based cleanser that emulsify with water that just that are like I've done all the work that I need I remove the sebum the makeup the sunscreen whatever you've had during the day or other people telling you things you didn't want to hear you're just gonna kick them off kick them off your face so it, it, it emulsifies and then rinses off with water and then you're done so unveil cleanser definitely I wouldn't say it's not even an honorable mention it is a star it's a stupid superstar in itself but since we're deciding somehow it should decided that we're decide, deciding what our fourth product would be let's talk about vitality elixir vitality elixir is what launched mahalo skincare together with the mahalo balm and the petal mask which is not currently here um back in 2013 actually i launched it even 2012 when um i was doing potions for friends family and some colleagues vitality elixir is a formula that i have played for my own skin and you might have heard this before since i was in my mid-20s when i worked in the spa industry i have discovered oil of black cumin which funny enough i've discovered it first from well my grandmother told me about it and then as a teenager i said Oh, grandmother what do you know I'm gonna find out what I know better and then as it turned out what I found out I know better is black cumin oil whoops thanks grandma so black cumin seed in Ayurveda it's called Kalonji it has uh, other name which escapes me now but it has been used for actually millennia there are records of black human used in ancient Egypt there are scriptures that are written in Ayurveda which is an ancient uh, Hindu medicine teachings wisdom 
that I've been honored to study since I was 15 and actually learn from practitioners and being trained in Ayurveda. So black human seed is incredible antibacterial. It's great for skins that are acneic, which is mine, that are prone to inflammation on the skin, that are prone to not handling bacteria well on, on the surface of the skin. So what black human does, it keeps all of that because it's it's more um it's acidic in their structure and it it is high in linoleic acid so the way it performs on the skin it helps to basically gives gives the boot to all of the bacteria and the inflammation and the radicals that could be wreaking havoc on your skin vitality elixir is not a very complicated formula but it is a sophisticated synergy the base here is uh, omega superstar chia seed oil uh, in a supercritical extract form then i just spoke poems about the black cumin seed oil then it has our polynesian tamanu and tamanu is you see you can see how i'm starting to speak really fast when i get excited and i'm going to reel myself back in because uh, I I have to say I owe the glow of my skin to Tamano. Uh, Tamano is also featured in Mahalabam and together with black human seed oil is what helps to keep the acne causing and inflammation causing bacteria on my skin at bay. It does so for you as well important honorable mention here to tamano as well is sourcing and that's also another gazillion of hours that i can spend about the sourcing that goes into mahalo skincare i am so diligent in learning where is it coming from who are the people who are the people who are the farmers who are the people that are collecting it who are the people that are processing it just from the top of my mind, since I just spoke about, say, Fragonia oil, um, a few years ago, the farm that I'm working with directly in Australia, they had a fire that uh, killed um, and destroyed a lot of the bushes from, fr from, from their crop. So m actually purchasing Fragonia in advance, I, I prepaid for the oil before they were even able to supply it to me, helped the farmers put that money back into growing the, the bushes back again. So now the, 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 the cycle is back up and we're getting our fresh fragonia from them. And this to me is not a short game, same as this video is now a long form game. I plan to be here with you for another 11, 22 and however many years. And that is for why creating these deep and integral relationships with farms is so important to me but back to tamano <laughs> tamano in uh vitality elixir is sourced and grown on the polynesian islands from my experience uh, many brands and i can tell right away when i smell a product i can tell i can tell you if their tamano comes from madagascar or they are spending more money, which Tamano from a Poly Polynesian Islands is a lot more expensive because of the hurricanes that destroy crops and just, just the way of pr pr producing. But their Tamano is, I, to put in comparison, would be Wagyu beef or your general Safeway beef. I don't even eat beef. I don't know why I'm giving that particular comparison, but that seems like a very drastic way of comparing one ingredient. The tamano from Madagascar is often, it smells like, like rotten socks. Sorry, I can't find a better way of saying it. And other brands, they try and mask it by filtering it or um, adding other essential oils to it to really mask the smell. But you can tell. Tamano in Vitality Elixir is an incredible nutty kind of like um, t uh, t tangy nutty color as aroma, pardon me. The color is olivey with sparkles. Tamano from Polynesian Island sparkles. I will, 
it's somewhere in my Instagram. I've shown it before. I'll do it again. You'll see how incredible it is. Let me wrap up for a minute because I can talk more. But these are the, the, the base oils. The base oils are in this serum, which are, they are the highlights. The uh, chia seed, black human seed, um, tamano, kukui oil. Then, of course, it has uh, turmeric. And the reason I say of course is because I am a devotee of turmeric. I absolutely love it. I mean, right now, I know it's everyone and their dog are using and eating turmeric. And I say, yay, fantastic. It's an incredible anti-inflammatory. It helps to boost skin circulation. Again, it helps to keep that bacteria of your skin at bay. It's mwah, love turmeric. And the aroma here is helichrysum that... Okay, I'm gonna need to actually re-edit the title of the show because it's just me now talking about each ingredient. Helichrysum from For Vitality Elixir we get from Corsica. And it is the best Immortel, it's the same name, ever in the world is grown in Corsica. And Corsica, if you know, you might be familiar because Napoleon Bonaparte was from Corsica. Um, it's a small island, it belongs to France, and just the way the, from, from again, reading and being so enamored with the helichrysum from that area, the way the sun is there, the way the Mediterranean terrain and how it's oiled up, it produces not just the highest quality aroma, but the highest quality in constituents for helichrysum. And what, if you wonder, what is it good for? What the highest quality helichrysum is good for? Why should you care that it's amazing? Why should you care that I'm buying the most expensive helichrysum there ever is for this product? And that is help in managing hyperpigmentation of your skin. Again, this has gone through years, over a decade of trial on your and my skins. This is not a brand new product that I'm just like, hey, this is two months old, bye, it's amazing. This is almost 15 years old for how long I have been using it before it's even been launched. This is tried, trusted, true, and, and um, known. It helps to fade hyperpigmentation on skin caused by, well, aging, natural change in color. Um, if you have uh, coloration from being too much on the sun, so it helps to fade the UV damage. It helps if you have hyperpigmentation from acne scarring. I had terrible acne scarring from my young 20s and helichrysum and vitality elixir is what helped me calm and fade and balance and even skin tone. That's what we mean. That's what the even skin tone is and it comes from helichrysum. So, I feel like if we are choosing that, the four of Mahala skincare, I mean, Vitality's Elixir is a very strong contender. And to recap, the contenders are, or the, the, the main four is Queen Nani, the Jasmine Radiance Resurfacing Mask that your two minute facial in a jar, the Hawaiian Hydration, the oil-free staple that not just gives you hydration, but it, it, it helps to strengthen the cellular structure of your skin. It helps to keep all the links strong together by providing the peptides, the hydration um, from the botanical extracts and precious metals like uh, 24 karat gold, as you do, 24 karat gold in here and copper peptides. The other must, must, must have always and forever is the Rare Indigo Balm. I did show it to you open. I mean, I have to. This is such a beauty. The Rare Indigo Balm. One, see what just happened? It dropped me down back into my body. It dropped me back into myself. It just kind of make me go really balanced and one of the taglines that i say for rare indigo is being centered being calm being sensual all day all day long that is the rare indigo so that is the rare indigo 
so these are the three main ones that I feel if you were to have Mahalo skincare in your ritual as part of you using other products or really relying as that being the core of your of your skin routine is the Queen Nani once a week or twice a week, Hawaiian hydration every day, morning and night, rare indigo, also could be morning and night or best in the morning because uh, one important to note this is the product you can wear during the day it does not have photosynthesizing effects meaning that it will not cause that hyperpigmentation we spoke about but and how perfect is this if you do have hyperpigmentation ah i could not have designed it better myself you have the vitality elixir to help you even skin tone keep the skin balanced hydrated and in short i also call this product our multivitamin for your skin this is your daily multivitamin this can go over hawaiian hydration a drop of vitality elixir and then a tiny dollop of rare indigo and then you off to glow into the day and a must, a must of any discerning beauty empress that you are is a cleanser. And the Vitality, uh, spark me, the Unveil Cleanser is an absolute loyal multitasker that cleanses your skin, that gently exfoliates, that has a very gentle papaya enzymes there that helps to boost skin turnover and it is a cleanser that you can rely on not to break you out very important it's it does not disturb the ph balance balance of your skin well it does not have water so it's oil so it won't have a ph on it so it doesn't also disturb also the ph balance of your skin it will depend what you follow with after so it looks like in all of this discussion, which is now almost what an hour long. Thank you for being here with me. Or is it 45 minutes? It looks like we have landed on five, <laughs> five deserted island products from Mahalo Skincare that you can be very happy to be hanging out on the deserted island by yourself in peace, ha, huh, bliss, uh, doing skincare. Although if you are on a deserted island, you probably will need a, a screen, a sunscreen. And as you can tell, I am a pro sunscreen. I uh, use one from my fellow green beauty brands. Uh, Cary Grant has a lovely one. Josh Rosebrook has a great sunscreen. If you're wondering if Mahalo will launch one, probably not simply because I just mentioned there's other brands that are creating amazing sunscreens and I, I love them. With everything that I create, I look what's on the market and where can I bring a product that actually serves the need, that is not a replica of what's already there. So it feels like a good time to wrap up this conversation. I did not get to dive into frequently asked questions for the rare indigo or other products so it looks like i will have to do another video so i hope you will join me there what i will finish with is to bring home mahalo skincare from our website you will get this lovely booklet that has our main line it gives you um, information on when to use how to layer what each product is and it also has suggested pairings and rituals so say in the morning suggested to use vitality elixir with a touch of um, rare indigo and then in the evening finishing maybe changing up to hawaiian nights which i haven't mentioned in but i'm giving this honorable plug in to hawaiian nights i'm just gonna show it to you hawaiian nights what your skin's tropical dreams are made from but this is for another video okay so it will give you suggested rituals so if you do see this in your order um, i invite you to give it a read and i always list 
all the ingredients that are in our formula. There is none of this um, hidden or patented or whatever. I really believe everything that is to be known or to be created already exists in the world. And if someone's inspired to copy my brand here, they, they, they can and they will. I am certain what they will not be able to replicate is my spirit, my passion for creating these treasures and the energy that I infuse in the spiritual medicine that I infuse into creating these potions. No one can replicate that, so I'm not worried. So you have the ingredients listed on this booklet. It's a lovely booklet to have. And one more thing I will also mention is you also get this little card reminder in your in in your order to have a never run out we do have a replenishment service and it varies on products some of them if you buy a certain amount uh, either five or six then you get a sixth one complimentary so it gives you a good decent amount of savings and keeps your skin maintained healthy and boring i'm gonna trademark this Boring skin, meaning skin that doesn't give you troubles, is not freaking out, is not inflamed. It's like, hey, good morning, I'm happy and glowing. <gasps> hey, good morning, I'm happy and glowing, I'm boring skin. <laughs> oh, this is Marina. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for celebrating 11 years of Mahala skincare. Thank you for being a part of supporting this dream. I really believe I was born to do this. Um, one more thing I will plug in here is if you have seen the book, my new book, Ground and Be Free. It is a wellness category book. I talk about an incredible spiritual practice that helps you claim emotional freedom and release emotional pain. And this tool, there is a chapter in this book that is dedicated solely to grounding and beauty rituals because together they create an incredible pathway of owning your authenticity of owning what I call your empress crown and being, well, unshakable. So wanted to mention here. So thank you for joining me. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe uh, because I will be creating more content. We also have a podcast. Uh, first season is 10 episodes and will more to unfold. Um, join me on Instagram, mahalo.care and it is an honor to spend this time with you. If you have any questions, please contact me. Please reach out. My team will be more than happy to, and myself as well, to support you in how you can maintain glowing skin and expansive and strong and free spirit. Aloha.